Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x divided by x divided by x is equals to x multiplied by x multiplied by x. So we solve this problem for the values of x. So I hope so you like this method, but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Now you very well know about that the order or order to solve the division if uh, division is lies a uh, multiple times uh, in an equation then uh, you need to uh, do these divisions from left to right okay we do these divisions from left to right if you can do these divisions first then you get a wrong answer okay so you cannot do these divisions first so that we need to do the divisions first these two values okay in order to get here our right answer if you do this one so you uh, you go wrong and you get here our wrong answer so first we need to divide these two values and you know that when we divide two same numbers 2 divided by 2 it is equals to 1 this is always hold for any uh, two numbers if you have x divided by x then you also get 1 so from these two divisions we will get here 1 divided by from here we get this x only is equals to in the right hand side we multiply x with 3 times you get here x cubed because you see here the basis of all these three values are same then we will get here we will add these three exponents and we will get here x cubed and now in the same pattern 1 divided by x means that 1 over x is equals to x cubed and now further in the next step you see here the exponent of this term is 1 so that we will cross multiply the terms so uh, here when we multiply this 1 with 1 and we will get here 1 multiplied by 1 is equals to x multiplied by x cubed and further we will get here 1 multiplied by 1 is equals to 1 x multiplied by x cubed is equals to x to the power of 4 so after little bit simplifications we will get here uh, 1 equals to x to the power of 4 in other words we can say that we will get here the uh, fourth order equation so we write the we move this one to the right hand side uh, and it will be written as x to the power of 4 minus 1 is equals to 0. So you get here this fourth order equation. And now uh, you see here this is fourth order equation. It means that this equation has four roots. And now here we need to find all that four roots of this equation. So uh, here first we uh, rewrite this equation as this is x to the power of 4 and we write it as x square and its whole square minus we write this one as 1 square and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we use the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of so in order to apply this nice algebraic formula you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so according to this formula we uh, expand our left hand side of the above equation as in this form first we have a minus b the value of a is x square minus b the value of b is 1 into again we have a plus b so the value of a is x square plus the value of b is 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now further in the next step, uh, we will break, break this equation into the two parts. The first part is x, minus, x square minus 1 is equals to 0 and the second one is x square plus 1 is equals to 0. So from first case we easily get the values of x so here we have two ways the one is we again use this formula and we can make the factors of this equation or in other words we can just take the square root on both of the sides so here we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as x square is equals to 1 
and now for the values of x we need to take the square root on both of the sides so this two and this square root are gone and we will get here x is equals to we know that when you can take square root on both of the sides then you can write here plus minus sign any one of the sides so we will get here these are the first two real root of the given equation because our equation is fourth order you see here so it means that this equation has four roots and now we can find here only two roots and in the next steps we find the other two roots of this equation from this case so from this case uh, here we again move this uh, plus one to the right hand side and it will be written as x squared is equals to minus one and now in the same pattern we can do here we again take the square root on both of the sides and also again you see here this two and the square root are gone and we will get here x and again you see here we take the square root on both of the sides so that we will write here plus minus sign in the any one of the side and also you uh, you see here uh, the square root of minus one is equals to iota so this means that these are the other two complex roots of the given equation so finally we have the four roots of the given equation are the first root is x1 is equals to plus 1 the second root is x2 is equals to minus 1 and the third root is x3 is equals to iota and the fourth root is x4 is equals to minus iota so these are the four roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos